Hidden Object Guru here back with The Unabridged Gamer. And we're about to get uh, Robocopped up into uh, Super Soldiers. Like you do. As 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 Hidden one object. does. I gotta say, I think the mistake of the uh, Wait, what's the uh, what's the evil organization in this called? Um, there's the NCR who are NCR, like okay. new. They're, they're 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 the new communists. Okay. Uh, the point is the NCR. Their mistake: building robots who are needlessly cruel. Because mm. the thing is, if their robots were pro uh, tor um, sorry programmed to kill people instead of torture them. I wouldn't be about to get a bunch of robot limbs and learn how to kick robot ass. Yeah, they, they, they didn't think that far ahead. They went for style or over substance, and they didn't realize they weren't playing Devil May Cry. <laughs> oh. Hey. Hey, check it out. Still with us? So, are you Welcome here back. too? Or are we oh, both Bill just staring right at him? Well, we're both staring right at him. Okay. All cutscenes work like that. Okay. That would just be great if there was a Player 2 cutscene where I was, like, sitting across from you Let's watching say, uh, you talk to Chris Maloney. Why not just go with it, right? After all, you can always wake up. But, uh, no. There is a no reason to Some exist 12, 7 20, version, second version of us. We're on board mm. the it's fine. Zurich headquarters of the Coalescence Corporation. Ooh. Zurich. Our, uh, cargo. Prototype for the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. Ooh. At its core, specialized AI software that's capable of rewriting itself in order to interface with any other system in the world. Uh oh, Stay that's a really time. dangerous thing to be building, guy. Mm. An AI that can take over. Oh no, it can just communicate with any other system. No, it can take over any other system. That's what that means. <laughs> like, dude. And it gets worse. Oh no, because we're all robots so we can take over people too? 7.31 a.m. Nah. terrorist group detonated an explosive device on board. There was a little interruption. The oh. incident sent back our robotics program several years. You're here to stop it. This is Welcome to the Matrix. Can't be okay. What is happening? Right now? Right now you're in a medically induced coma being prepped for surgery. You've got a new bit of hardware inside your head. It's called a direct neural interface, or DNI. I've got I one too. See. I'm able to communicate with you. Your DNI is what connects your mind with your new body and the larger. It's body. funny because I've got the shadows and lighting effects turned down. His slight head movements are causing uh, lighting to flip around his face constantly. <laughs> it's a very weird effect. I'm having to report when you're actually able to run it at decent settings. It doesn't do that. Okay. But, I might um, be able to turn it back up since I updated my drivers, but who knows. All right. But, um, yeah, the, the thing that I love about this is they took this idea from a John Scalzi book where there were space commandos who could synchronize with each other and how all the different possibilities that opens up. Yeah, of course. It's a great concept, and it totally works for a squad-based campaign. Yeah, I mean, Shared Consciousness Commandos came up on Dollhouse as well. It's an interesting idea. Like, you can move more effectively as a team if you can have total awareness of the rest of the team at all times. I think so. Gonna help get you up to speed on some of the cool new shit you can do. Yay! Oh yeah, and that's the other thing. They actually introduce characters and give you a reason to recognize them and relate to them and learn their personality. They don't just throw them at you for ten seconds. It's nice, yeah. You get shit. good character intros, you get everybody you gets a moment. It's nice. I don't even have to think about it. But, uh, just so you know, if you ever think about calling Taylor a dick for real, Aww. Diaz, you're the best. All right. Let's go see if you can do this without ending up with Swiss cheese like those poor bastards. Okay. Okay. Ah. Alright. I assume you've got my back somewhere? Yep, I'm up on the left. Alright, I am gonna go uh, below. Ooh, DNI tactical mode. I don't see anything. Oh, wait, there we go. 
I, uh, I wasn't behind cover, so the tactical mode didn't do anything. Wow, I'm it should work all the time. Well, no, but it's like there was nobody... There was, ah. like, nothing between me and the guys, so it couldn't show me their outlines. Mm-hmm. All right. Nice. How do I turn it off? Oh, there you are. All right, you startled me there. Oh, no, skull guys. That, mean, that must mean they're very easy to kill. I don't know if that's true. It just feels true. Oh, my God, please have that grenade go off. Damn it! I watched that man pull the pin and start to throw a grenade, and then I shot him to death. And then the grenade didn't go off in the room. Right. In my game, actually. Oh, that's ability. weird. It may take a little getting used to, but your confidence will soon grow. Try it for yourself. I got a hunter that says you can do oh, yeah. it. Um, okay. Come over here and watch me. Oh, wait, no, I'll so try it. I jump, and then I run along the wall. I've done wall Not running bad, in games. Not bad. Like, yeah, this isn't my I first can't... wall running video game. Just making sure, because I've had friends who were like, you know, they've played Titanfall and they still had headache with this one. Which really? Threw me. Yeah, it, it surprised me. Yeah, like, I'm trying to remember, what, the what is the first gun I, a game? First game I played that had wall running in it. That's a tough question. I feel like there was a game about ninjas. Well, I, I mean, odds are good there was a game about ninjas. They, they are... Oh, no, like, I'm sorry I didn't finish. Like, back in PS2 days. Mm-hmm. I feel like I that's believe. the first time I saw wall running in a game. I just don't remember which one. I don't think it was one of the Tenchu games, but I could be wrong. But here's the other thing. You know how, like, with Titanfall and a lot of other ones, when you wall run, it's like a one-and-done deal, right? Yeah, whereas here you this can hop one... to hop to hop. Yeah, this one you don't have to. You actually have a limited amount of fuel that you can use to burst to give yourself things. You can actually fan it. Nice! Where's the fuel readout? Uh, it appears right on the bottom of your screen, right below your aiming reticule. Gotcha. I'm fine for ammo. And is there a... Is this just a burst rifle, or can I select fire myself up to full auto? I believe it's first fire. I think there are some where you can get an, an alternate fire mode, but I forget what the button is for Aww. that. It's nice that we can fire through cover. And so, the threat assessment on the ground, that means what? That they've got that area covered, that there's a grenade Yeah, that, that basically means that is a region you do not want to be in. Okay, because they've got field of fire on it. Gotcha. And also, it'll show you, it'll show you where grenades are going to detonate, so you can finally go beyond just... Here's a grenade icon. Okay, what does that mean in regards to me? Now it's like, no, really, this is how close you are to getting blown up to shit. That is handy. Dude, would you pop your head out? It's getting embarrassing for you. <laughs> okay, you slide kicked the guy because I kept him undercover that whole time. The yeah, it worked out perfectly. Just communicate with each other. It allows us to interact with a variety of computer systems. Ooh. Pretty much all the basic Drones? drone units. Now, bipeds, sophisticated ground units. Yep, you can choose which one you want to. You can go nice. by, go by ground. You try to process and control all. Oh, that. there's a miniature tank! Your brain is toast. Hey, buddy! With these? These fuckers are easy. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, and on the upside, when you're hacked into one, one of these drones, wall. you yeah. cloak. Really? So you don't get ambushed while you're, you're hacking in. Oh, that's handy. Alright. And on the bottom left and right, you'll see the prompts for all of the things you need to do. I see it. It's up and down and left and right. Can't really look up, which is a problem. Oh, don't worry. You're mostly going to be aiming below. Okay. Alright, so now I just have to find my way to this control room. Shoot down those vets. Shoot down the vets? I believe we can press pretty much press on. This is one of those sections of just blow all the things. Oh, okay. I feel like the, the mechs have a surprising amount of thought, like the little combat drone on the ground. Can you can extend it upwards like a giraffe? Oh, nice. Okay, well I'm obviously went in the wrong direction. No, you're really in the right direction, and uh, yeah, you can drop the smelting pots. They oh, also cool. There's lots of interactability with certain elements in this, and it's just, it's nice. It's just nice. 
definitely where I was going in the wrong direction. Ah, oh, wait, here we go. Is this the right way? I'll be honest I'm with sorry, you. I'm sorry, I mistook you for Diaz. Yeah. Oh! The door's opened. I thought I was looking for, like, a secret route around. But no, the door's just opened. Okay, that's fine. There she is. Blow that generator so we can get inside. Love to. I am spending ooh, an excessive amount of time crashing into walls. Their first jump. There we go. Oh no, my poor drum. Come on, let's go. <laughs> that was okay. cute. I like that. Metal casting facility. Fresh huh? ammo whenever you see an ammo crate. Last thing you want is to be in a fight with no bullets. And I keep pressing E to uh, pick stuff up. Oh, and well, I understand, grenades. I understand. I'm still getting adjusted to my new controls, because it's like, right, right mouse button is for interacting now, not the F key. I keep throwing flash bangs in my face. Oh. Suppressors, second level. Oh, yeah. For what it's worth, you can hack those mounted turrets as well. Oh, really? Yep. Nice. Nice going. Oh, that's adorbs! Oh, those poor guys. I'm just murdering nope. them. How, um, like in uh, Star Breeze's Syndicate, you can temporarily turn, like, one person to your side, right? Of course, yeah. In this one, it's possible to turn a mini-boss drone to your side if you survive long enough. That's hilarious. Is one of the most satisfying things possible. You can, I think you can even, uh, if you un upgrade enough, you can actually hack into it and remote pilot it, which just is one of the best damn things. That's pretty incredible. Am I out of grenades? I'm out of grenades. Well, I did waste a lot of grenades, so it's not a huge shock. Or access. Hacking. Nice. Talk to the hand. Uh-oh. Death bots. And that's it. They also have a okay. element of PTSD that actually makes sense. You oh, get yeah, flashbacks. I mean, me running into death bots again, that would... That would freak you out something fierce. I was fierce. back in Ethiopia. The grunts, I, I lived it all again. What's happening to me? Shit. You know how your senses can trigger vivid memories? Make you think of sounds, sights, Aww. words. Thank you for songs. explaining the concept of memory. Stuff you haven't thought of in years. D and I can make that a lot more visceral. Little glitches on your optics, little whispers in your ear. This shit happens. The doctor can straighten it out. You just need to recalibrate your meds. Trust me. You know the you drugs we use to mind control you. So what now? Oh, right now, you're gonna interface with that console. As soon as you plug in, you'll be able to extract and process the information in a heartbeat. Okay. Got it. They had a man on the inside at Coalescence. Oh, ho! He would have been able to supply them with everything they needed to bypass the security on the train. The box of salt man, it took six hours for the ZSF to get that information. Outcome? It took you just six minutes. Yeah, it would have been five. You haven't freaked out when you saw those robots. Aww. What happens now? Now we go find the son of a bitch. Yay! You see, in a future full of super terrorism, only uh, cyborgs who can go wherever they want and shoot whoever they want can keep people safe. <laughs> I, I assume that it's... Oh, God! I assume we're going to learn that it isn't that simple soon. But that is the message oh, so oh, far. Oh, oh. oh, when we get to the end of this thing, we were having a discussion because I just... I think Black Ops 3 is a very good capstone to the whole synopsis of the Black Ops series on a whole. Even the crappy story in Black Ops 2 is redeemed a little bit by the arguments made in this one. Right. Remember Specialist Sarah Hall? That's pretty impressive. If they can manage part, it. Trust her, do exactly what she says. I trained her myself. She's an intelligence expert from back when that actually meant something. 
Before DNI, you had to read books. In the academy, Aww. Taylor made me read a lot of them. Well, some knowledge is worth earning. Appreciate it. And that takes time. It's just weird to hear them talking about the, uh, the neural interface teaching you things, because right now... Okay, new blood. Have you heard what they're doing with hololenses? Um, I have not heard the latest thing. Basically, the idea is, so, with a hololens, theoretically, anybody's going to be able to put on a hololens and repair a car. Because the hololens is going to detect exactly what part of the... This is so neat. Oh, crowds of people. Way to go, game. Oh, yeah. It basically turns into Mirror's Edge with guns. Nice. Which, you know, that Mirror's Edge was occasionally Mirror's Edge with guns. Our boys hacking this but yeah, so imagine, pass. like, you what just put on a uh, headset. Not sitting behind a computer. Right? And now you're looking at a virtual version a of a place. To get over the maglev train. Here's I will. Blood. I'll give you that. Okay, well, that was Mirror's Edge. Son of a bitch is still moving. Right? And you're going to immediately know how to interact with a machine. Because it's going to tell you step He's by step, now pick through. up this tool, right, now twist in this direction, cyber, now blah 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 blah. Paralysis. Like, it's kind of insane. Nice to see you ain't a quitter. And it's not that far from the information the just going right into your head. They take a little time to recharge. Keep an eye on your HUD. Oh, oh, there it is. Nice. Oh, bravo. Adaptive immolation is one of the best powers. It basically, if you can chain it right, it yeah. can cause a massive explosion of multiple drones at once. They'll all go like as if it's a disease. That's fantastic. I, but now I'm actually thinking, I think I may have heard a little bit about what you're talking about with Hollow Lens and just. Yeah, I'm still not sure how to feel about that sort of thing. Well, it's just weird, because imagine a situation where, like, a doctor is getting, you know, real-time updates on what to do on an overlay of your torso as you're sewn open. Like, you've been pulled open. Yeah! Tackle! Guy's dead, right? Didn't work out so well. I reckon our suspect has about 15 seconds left before he shakes hands with the Grim Reaper. You can't let that happen. Not Are we gonna hack his brain? Need. Please tell me we're gonna hack his brain. He doesn't have to. He has a DNI. Nice. So this just became Observer. A little bit, yeah. And a bit more later on. But that's all I'll say. Okay. Cam footage of the user's past experiences. Ooh. In extreme circumstances, it is possible to extract that information by force. You'll be able to push deep. <coughs> Excuse me. Memories, their thoughts, even their okay. You could learn everything we need to know about the terrorist plans. <coughs> I'm sensing a butt coming up somewhere. You should know. Not only will this procedure be deeply traumatic for the subject. But the associated subconscious interference will leave him brain dead. Oof! Dead. Believe me, this is a bad way to go. He's a dead man anyway. Besides, he's a fucking terrorist. All right, here we go. Oh. oh no no no! Don't worry. There's a reason we actually that it went smoothly this time. Oh, okay. You know now. I know where they are. They're using the old train tunnel to plan their attack. Hmm. But you just learned that your DNI took the ZSF weeks to uncover. What do you think I'm gonna say next? Outcome. Train go boom. It's good to know you can make tough decisions when you have to. I think it's time we moved on. Uh-oh. Aw. See, they're trying to indoctrinate you into the idea that your uh, actions are always moral. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. 
I think this is something that actually Treyarch's had a lot easier a time with than even Infinity Ward. They're very good at presenting a situation where it's very morally ambiguous, but at the start it's like, no really, you're the good guy, and then progressively it's like, oh shit. Well yeah, and I mean, uh, Advanced Warfare didn't do that very well because the guy telling you the good guy was Kevin Spacey, and you're oh like, oh my gosh, yes, and then he does a Captain Planet villain speech. <laughs> But I'm like, yeah, you know, Kevin Spacey doesn't get hired to play good guys, right? This is over. That's never happened. Owe me a hundred. Back to business. I'm trying to think of his entire career. Has anyone has said who do we need to play this good guy in a movie? Oh, Kevin Spacey. You know, I think I, if I ever remember correctly, I could be wrong on this. I think the one time that Kevin Spacey played a protagonist character was in. Um, Let's do some damage. That Revolutionary War kids show, America, it wasn't American Tale, it was something like that. I think that's the one place, because, I mean, they even got, like, you know, Sylvester Stallone to be playing um, Paul Revere, for crying out loud. That's fantastic. I've never heard of this show, because they generally don't show American Civil War, sorry, Revolutionary War propaganda in on Canadian television. But uh, I'm very happy to hear that there was a amazing star-studded thing while Sylvester Stallone oh, it's Paul it's, Revere. It is so 90s cheese, I think you would really like They even have, like, a Revolutionary War rap, for some reason, as the oh main theme God. song. So, in the Paul Revere episode, did they, uh, did they mention that, uh, uh, the lady who actually did two-thirds of the ride, or was it just Paul Revere? No, 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 no. There is a female insert protagonist alongside everything else, but they actually, for some reason, opted to make her British. That's which a really was... weird choice. Yeah, it was, and that's pretty much everyone's response to it is... Okay, so as a result, she, like, whines for 90% of it, like she's Princess Zelda, and then eventually she gets it, and then things change a bit. There were a few effective things. There's, um... There's a character who dies early on, and it's like, that's actually effective, and it makes Bunker Hill seem like a more significant battle than it was in terms of actual merit of strategy. It was more like, this is how people emotionally felt about it. A lot of it, though, is just super goofy. Oh. Right, I want to burn this guy. Come on, there hasn't been a robot in ages. Oh, you can, burn to, you can use it on humans, too. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they have a grenades or anything on them, they can totally be exploited. Oh, okay. The Chaos so... Module is the most multi-use. The Mobility one also has it. That is why I typically advise people to invest in either Mobility or Chaos to start with, because once you hit level 20 in the campaign, which doesn't take long... Oh my god, you were right. I just saw a man blow up because I hacked his grenades. Oof. But, um, the Control one that lets you hack, like, robots... There are missions where you will have tons of robots and other ones where you will not. And oh. you don't really know until you play them, so that's the one downside. Because, like, when you have them and it's useful, oh, it's amazing. But, but when you don't... You just have you, this wasted slot. Yeah, you essentially have to go powerless then. Oh. There's a few abilities that can be used on other people, like you can lock up their um, exosuits and stuff like that, but yeah. it's not the same. Oh, I love you, Enhanced Vision. This enhanced vision was so badass. Oh. That's actually a really good question. Shouldn't there be like a great big visual heads up when it's safe to turn off my enhanced vision? You pretty much use the regular enhanced vision whenever you want. Um, I know. You know, it the... is clearer. It is easier to get around with when there's light. Let's move. Mm hmm. I gotta stop reloading. I'm obsessively reloading. Oh, I completely understand. In this game, I'm like, it, it, I fired three bolts. What the hell, hell is that guy? You up will there? also love. I don't know if you've noticed yet, but they even took a note from Binary Domain. The robots have dismemberment. You can take yeah, out their legs. I did notice and sometimes that. they will keep fighting. Sorry, Mr. Robot. Yeah, it's not binary domain satisfying shooting these guys, but it's pretty badass. Oh, so many bullets. Hey, and buddy. While discussing powers, another thing I should mention <laughs> is, um, not only do you have active powers, there are also, um, secondary 
non-active status effects you can get. Like when with an upgraded Chaos, okay. you actually get a like taser for your melee hit. Your first melee hit will take someone down no matter what they are, and it'll freeze them up. Nice. And does that recharge, or is that just a yeah, couple times permission? Yeah, it takes like a permission. few seconds to recharge, and then it comes back. I understand you can warp it out so that you're whipping it out manually, but realistically, just use your melee attack and you're good. Oh, wait, I should have hacked that tank instead of shooting it, shouldn't I? Damn it. Gotta get used to this hacking nonsense. There we go. I waste bullets when you can make stuff just explode. Oh, sorry. Yeah, this chaos stuff is pretty badass. Oh no, turrets! Alright. Damn, that grenade got close. So, did they just you cheat with the uh, enhanced vision? Not the enhanced vision, the uh, situational awareness thing? Or do you actually have to... Does one of our teammates actually have to see a guy before he'll, hear, he'll appear on my screen as an outline through a wall? Um, or does it just cheat and put them all, it all in went down. I believe it does sure, put them all in there, but only within a certain oh, radius. Oh, so, okay. like, I've never had a squad split up too much. Okay. Because the game does do that whole warping you all together. But, okay. um... <gasps> in the cargo car? There were killer robots in the cargo car? And explosives? And a bomb control. Why, it's like we're back in Sucker Punch. They hacked the security mm. robots. Train full of robots? No? Not a good reference? Sucker Punch? I haven't seen Sucker Punch, so... That's just... good! No, that, it's good that you haven't seen uh, Sucker Punch. I'm approving of that decision. Ironic? Oh, okay. There's just a train full of robots <laughs> at one point. The terrorist attacks actually accelerated the development of the Winslow Accord Neural Network Initiative. Oh. If it wasn't for the fear of attacks like this one, probably wouldn't even have the cyber soldier program why it's almost like we had a motive to stage the attack ourselves to become super soldiers i know uh, it's going too far but still all right let's go kill some people i'm killing robots i'm kidding let's kill robots they'll even comment if you do hit a civilian they will like be like no don't do that bad they're coming through the window Oh, wait, I forgot, um, one oh, I got a extra perk of, um, yeah, what I just did right there, when you do have the control module, though, one of the awesome things you can do is that you can get extra grenades by ripping out the cybernetic cores of robots. What? So as a result, you can turn every robot into a walking grenade. That is fantastic. Here you go. Oh, you can do takedowns that warp you towards bad guys. Yeah, I'm switching takedown over to over to F. It's weird to move over to a V when you're trying to do this. Oh, are we supposed to go up there? Yeah, we're supposed to go up there. Hold on, let me get swapped. I'm gonna adaptive emulation. Yeah! Concussive wave? How do I do that? Um, I believe you, uh, that is, oh, are you down? Oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah, I'm down, I, I accidentally jumped down and started fighting before setting it to concussive wave, which is bad. Ah, well, the upside, access. you yeah, actually achieved it, you blew them all up. Oh, good. Oh my god. The momentum I don't know why. Most. Why is that? Um... Honestly, because for me, I don't tend to, um, I, I like to rely on the abilities a lot more, whereas momentum is a lot more, you're really good with the gunplay, and you're really eager to jump around all of the time, whereas I'm a bit more, I'm going to use my shotgun a bunch, but otherwise, I want to adaptive immolate all of you, and I'm glad that we're okay. agreeing that. I get it. So I can't throw a grenade? Uh, no, you should be able to throw a grenade. No, I don't seem to have it. I pressed F and nothing happened. Oh, well, actually, if you look in your lower right-hand corner, you will see how many grenades you have. You, have, you should have... Um, oh, no, I, I see them in the bottom right. I just, I'm pressing F and nothing's happening. Um, 
Oh, well, now, I, I, now, I, now I just talked. That's embarrassing. Uh, okay, let me just press F. Oh, wait, is it G, not F? Am I pressing the wrong button? Hold on, yeah, I'm looking here. Um, I'm sure it's a binding issue. The whole thing's yeah, primary is G, secondary is F. Okay, that's my bad. It's too much. Let's press the wrong button. The computer in my head does not enough time. It's actually very simple. This is a maglev track. If there we go. On just this car. Nice work. There was that no was very creative. Get off the train. Your DNI might show you all the options, but only you can decide what you're willing to sacrifice. Aww. Sometimes you have to let go. Damn. Taylor, how's our patient? As good as can be expected. I expect better. You should know that. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm being prepped for surgery now. It's going to be okay. Hendrix You're getting badass in. robot arms. He volunteered for this. Damn. All right, now I feel like I know how to play the game. <laughs> it's a pretty badass tutorial system. Eh? That's a really good tutorial. Like I I have not seen a lot of better tutorials than that actually. Oh, that's so badass. And now you see what happened to you after the augmentation. And yeah, we like went on warfare, it. it's a lot speedier about handling that. Yeah. So we had a bunch of awesome adventures murdering people all around the world for what two years i think they should say just a little bit how many years it's been okay in order to provide tactical support where needed oh how long have we been doing oh here we go five years, five years. give or take sounds about right you ever think about where we're going next nope you know me. By the way, five years, give or take. That's right. I don't have any life other than traveling around the world murdering people. Oh, that's actually one of the best things about the... Because when you have a nameless protagonist with a voice, there's always the controversy about how much of a personality they have. Do you want to give them, right? One of the things that Nelson and I were actually both really geeking out about is your character not only has a personality, they're the more nationalistic. You are actually, in some ways the darker character of your own story. I'm very excited to see where they, this goes. That's going to be very cool. All right, so we're going to take a break here. We've learned how to play the game. Next time when we come back, we're going to be full on murdering people for real and getting into the main plot of the game, which I'm pretty excited about now that I've seen what this thing has to offer. Uh, so until then, on a bridge, you want to tell people where to find you? Uh, you can find me at Underbridge Gamer on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. And actually, if you check out my channel right now, I just did a video on Spider-Man Shard Dimensions that I'm hearing may be one of my best yet. So please, be sure to give that a whirl. Yeah, and honestly, this has been in the works for, what, three years now? Yeah, it's been taking way too freaking long. To get. It has survived so many computers and errors and script rewrites. It's, I'm so glad it's done. <laughs> <laughs> you can finally take a breath. Ooh. All right. That should be great. Um, so, yeah, questions, suggestions for me, go in the comments section below the video. Uh, if you want to be here for live streams, join the Discord, because that's where you announce them. We'll see you back here in the next item on the playlist for more Call of Duty Black Ops 3. But until then, au revoir. Oh, yeah.